Hi, I'm Ingrid and my life has been kind of crazy. It all started on January 21st, 1994, Sydney, Australia, when I was born. I lived there with my mom, my dad and my big sister until I was two years old, when we in 1996 moved to Copenhagen, Denmark. Why Copenhagen, do you ask? Well, that's easy, my dad's Danish. A few years later, around 1999 or something like that, mom and dad got divorced. But they're both happily remarried and my dad even has two more girls, which makes me a big sister. Anyway, I went to school in Denmark at a school called Tronigal School, but that was practically over before it even started, when in 2005, me, mom and stepdad Tom packed our stuff and moved to the one and only Singapore. I ended up at a school called Tanglin Trust School, though I hated it at the time, in hindsight, it was probably one of the best schools in the world. I made some great lifelong friends. I got to travel a lot during those years. I even met my first love. And though it was short-lived, it was pretty epic. I graduated high school in 2012, and during that summer, got an offer from the University of Westminster. So I was off to London, England. I graduated in 2015 and lived in London for one year working full time before I decided it was my time to go back home. So on July 12th, 2016, I went back home to Copenhagen. February 2017, I auditioned for an acting school and for the first time in like my whole life, I felt like I fit in. And in May 2020, I once again graduated, but let's rewind back. 2018 for a second. Remember that first love I talked about meeting in Singapore? Yeah, well, he became my last love too. Corbett and I reconnected by luckily being in the same place at the same time and decided that we did not want to live life not loving each other. In 2019, he proposed to me and we are now legally married. But that wasn't without three grueling years of long distance. And now, since February 2022, I have been a resident in the Bay Area with the love of my life. My first year away from home has been hard, but Disneyland, the friends I've made through that, Corbin's family and the two cats we adopted have been a blessing. So yeah, now I'm here. My green card has been approved, so we have so many travels coming up, including going back home to Copenhagen, Singapore, going back to New York for Christmas, and we've also got a trip to Disney World planned. Who knows? I might start documenting it.